I recently came across a comprehensive list of common crypto related scams that I think everyone should have a read through. This would especially be true if you're new to crypto. I'm a firm believer that learning to secure or keep your crypto safe is the most important aspect of crypto because of the plethora of ways that one can lose their coins. No one wants to experience massive growth in their portfolio only to see it wiped out because he or she got scammed. That said, I've highlighted the parts that I personally think are the most prevalent from what I've seen and will be going over them briefly in this video. This isn't to say that the others aren't common, it's just that the ones that I've highlighted seem to be how most people get scammed or lose their coins the most based on my experience. Now if you're interested in the article, I'll leave a link in the video description. So if we scroll down this list over here, we can see that it says don't use links, always examine the URL, don't type in a login after clicking on a link, do not interact with random dApps, be wary of ads, ads can contain links to scam sites. There are so many sketchy influencers who are just pretending and pumping and dumping to their followers and retail investors. If it seems too good to be true, then it pretty much is too good to be true. A lot of the coins pretty much are rug pulls or scams. And I would have to agree with this. 99% of coins are either a scam or a rug pull. Make sure that you split your hot and cold wallets. So whatever you have in your hot wallet, you should always keep the amount very minimal versus your cold wallet. That's where you keep the majority of your crypto. You want to make sure that you use 2FA or multi-factor authentication, especially if you're using sites like Binance or crypto.com, basically any centralized exchange. Never give away your seed phrase. If you give them away, you pretty much lost the coins in that wallet. This is kind of like the same idea. You just want to be careful of where you secure or store your seed phrase. One good rule of thumb is to never type out your seed phrase online unless it's for a wallet like MetaMask where you're just kind of importing your wallet. But even then, you'll still want to be kind of wary that you don't have any malware that can copy or steal your seed phrase slash password. You'll want to make sure that you have redundant backups for all of your important information. You definitely want to send a small amount before sending a larger amount. I've seen this time and time again where people have lost large sums of crypto just because they thought it would work, but it obviously didn't and pretty much their coins are gone. Use a contact list if you are going to send coins to a wallet address frequently. Now this would help you against something called address poisoning where pretty much scammers will create a wallet that has an address similar to the one that you would frequently send to and they'll send a small amount of crypto to your wallet to try to fool you into thinking that's the wallet that you frequently send your coins to and by mistake you'll send your coins to that scammer's wallet. You'll really want to double check every transaction on your wallet before approving them. And this is just good practice that you should always double or even triple check your transactions because all the transactions are irreversible. So once you press that send button or authorize button, your coins are pretty much gone. So this is kind of like the above. You'll want to double check that you are sending to the correct recipient address. Don't sign any signature requests if they look kind of suspect or kind of strange or anything that you're not sure of, you definitely don't want to sign anything that you're not sure of. You'll definitely want to research every project that you are interested in before actually buying the coin. Again, most coins are scams, but you'll really want to do your due diligence. If you are asking for help on Reddit or Twitter, or don't be surprised that there's going to be people who are pretending to be support for that particular exchange or company, and they're going to DM you saying, oh, I'm here to help you out. It's all scammers who are trying to steal your funds. When scammers message you saying, oh, here, here's a free airdrop or something like that, pretty much it's a scam. This one is really interesting because I've received these tokens myself and I know exactly what this is all about. Basically, they'll send you a token with a name similar to that of a real coin and it's saying it has this amount of value, making you think that you got some free crypto. And then when you try to interact with it, it has some smart contract feature in it that gives access to your wallet or your funds. So pretty much as long as you don't do anything with these coins that you get, you're fine. Just keep in mind that no one's going to give you free crypto for nothing. This one is becoming more common. And basically the scammer will send his seed phrase to the victim or drop it in plain sight. And the victim tries to steal the funds from the wallet, but gets caught in a honeypot. Usually the account has no gas tokens. So the victim has to first send gas to the address, which quickly gets stolen. So pretty much if you ever see someone 
someone who is quote unquote, help me out, here's my password and all that stuff. Or they seem very vulnerable and are asking you for help and are giving you their account information. It's a scam. It works off of smart contracts. So you would send Ethereum or Tron as an example. And basically all of that would get redirected into another wallet. So pretty much those are the most common scams that I've seen across the crypto space. Hopefully this video has helped you out.